live, and he's ready to fuck you a new asshole. Give it up for Bunsy K. Some of her girlfriends. Or as I like to call them, her merry band of sluts. <laughs> My wife decides she's about to turn 40. She decides now's the time. You're reaching your sexual peak to get some fucking braces. Hey, throw some metal choppers in there when you're ready to. Go. So, uh, I always wanted to know what it'd be like to get blown by jaws from movies. <laughs> That's for the over 40 crowd. <laughs> I don't know my wife. Uh, we have a good time. It was a little difficult in the early years. We've been together a long time. In the early years, I couldn't fit that friggin' thing in with a shoehorn. <laughs> and now our box is like a car wash for dicks. <laughs> Slap a little lube on, line it up, and it just goes right in. We use more lube in one session than fucking Dale Ar Earnhardt Jr. uses an entire fucking race. We got a dog that insists on being there wherever we are and also bark his ass off. So he's got to sit at the end of the fucking bed. He's staring at us like, what the hell are you doing? And I get her in doggy style and he's like, ah. Cool, man. That's good. He'll gotcha. be on her face, dripping off her chin, and be like, are you going to finish that? I don't see anything. So he does. You know, she doesn't care. We like, by the way, ladies, we like when you're vocal in bed, when you, you know, say stuff, hot stuff. There's just some things that have no place in the bedroom. Like you're in the 69 position or something. Oh, yeah. Mm. Shit. Shit? My face is in your ass and you're going to say shit? Or this one I love, too. Oh, yeah, Jesus Christ. Now I gotta picture this fucking guy on the other end of you. His fucking long hair and his hot body and shit. He's like, God for Christ's sakes. If you're gonna invoke somebody from the Bible, be like, oh, John the Baptist. I'm in better shape than that fat fuck. I can do it that. Like I said, though, we've been together a long time. She was not my first kiss. Or my first blowjob. No, that distinctive honor goes to Father Kowalski. In fifth grade. Come on, I didn't swallow. There's little boys that like priests, too. It just doesn't go around. Right. A lot of people don't know this, though. I actually went to Villanova. I, I didn't finish to see a football game. No, I went to Delaware County and dropped out after, like, a month. My kids won't even ask me for help with their freaking homework. They're like, you didn't go to college? I went to college. I just didn't stay very much. They just think I'm this homeless guy who just fucking walks around the house and kind of gets to stay. <sighs> See, the problem is women have this thing in them called expectations. And when they learn to lower them, we'll all be better off. I used to have a big gambling problem. I used to bet on my kids' freaking games that I was coaching. You might remember that uh, OLPH St. Joe's game with a coin shaving scandal. I knew I was having a problem with gambling when I started to bet on the coaches versus cancer that they had over here. I mean, cancer was getting five and a half points. It seemed like a lot I mean, it's fucking cancer. How are you going to beat cancer? You guys like the Eagles? Everybody like sports? I just fucked that joke up. Let me start that over again. You guys like the Eagles? What's your favorite song? Mine's Hotel California. Now, I like watching the Eagles. You know, you turn the sound down on the TV and turn up Merrill Reese, right? Yeah! You have to listen to him. I like listening to Merrill, but it seems like after every play, there's some kind of advertisement associated with it. Yeah, like, Merrill! He'll be like, uh, Akers back for the kickoff. He's hit hard. This hard hit brought to you by the National Association for Child Abuse. <laughs> if you're going to hit your kid, just don't hit him hard or in the face. McNabb and the Shotgun. Brought to you by the NRA. <laughs> Do 
just bring any weapon to the game and receive half off a delicious soft pretzel. <laughs> Uh, and Mike quits there. Oh, the play's over, Mel. It was a fumble. Yes, it was. And that could be our Delilah's Den strip of the game. <laughs> Before watching the Eagles rub out the competition, why not rub one out at Delilah's? <laughs> and one of our newly renovated spiking boots. I like to see Merle at a fucking strip joint. Like, sit there. Yeah. Legs in an open set. Moving from our left to our right. He's in the red zone. He's going to have to dump this one off to the tight end. Somehow Mike Quick's right there with him. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Merle. What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm already done. And with that, another $200 goes to Madam Kim's Rub and Tug on the and off. Open from midnight to 4 a.m. Charlie Manuel in a strip joint. Uh, you know, I feel like, you know, you know, one, two jackets, you know, we're in two world series. You know, I feel like maybe 30, 40 bucks, you know. So I think maybe you just go ahead and do a little hand job or something. Like that. Like, you just put your hand down now, just go like this. Because like, he's got to, we all do, he goes in places. My favorite would be like Gilbert Godfrey. Right? Was true, yes, I appreciate the hand in the balls, but maybe a little less twisting of the testicles, and maybe continue with a dirty Sanchez or something like that. Oh, yes, that's wonderful. Oh, Affleck! <laughs> and that could be our Affleck whack of the day. Thank you, that's my time. <laughs> I guarantee you, like most comedy shows you go to, you have a fucking shit storm for a little bit, then you might get somebody good, but everybody tonight has been fucking great. Give it up for yeah. them.